Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling barbed wires in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a plane. I'll show you a very simple method how to create. So let's take a cylinder over here with a very low, less radius. So I'll be modeling a cylinder over here with a very less radius and I'll increase I'll increase its height and I'll increase the height segments so let's do increase its height segments over here so once you're done let's go into this front view I'll just increase its size also and let's make one copy of it over here so select this both over here and let's give a modifier called twist modifier so I'll be using a twist modifier so I'll go into this y-axis and I'll just twist it so don't twist it more so I don't want to twist it like too much we can twist a bit so after your twisting is done over here let's go into this view front view I'll go into this spline over here and I'll take a helix over here let's create a helix over here so let's create a helix so after you have created a helix over here let's increase the turns of the helix and increase its height enable in viewport and reduce its thickness over here so what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be slightly reducing the thickness of it so once you're done I'll just convert to editable poly I'll go into the polygons I'll just you know I'll just make it a bit grey so I can just identify it properly so let's just go over here slightly rotate it and let's just extrude it in the opposite direction in this way and click OK so let's just select this and slightly push it up push it down scale it in the right manner so once you're done I'll just place it over here in this way okay it's very small so I'll keep on duplicating that let's just do the duplicates of it so as much as you want all right so once you're done you can see that what I have done over here is like I have created this stuff in this way press ctrl A and let's convert to editable poly and let's attach it with this let's attach all this elements in a right way so as you can see I have just attached all these elements and I will just give a color 
Now, let's go over here and let's again take a helix. So let's just take a helix again and increase its height. Increase its height. You can increase the turns if you want. Select this and let's give turbo smooth to it to make it more smoother as you can see and convert to editable poly. Select this object. I'll go over here. I'll off this enable in viewport. Select the shape and let's give a modifier called path deform world space modifier pick path let's just pick a path over here so what I'll do over here is like I'll scale it that would be much better path deform pick path and move to path I think you can increase this this stuff because this is very small so let's just increase the size of the helix and increase its height select this path deform pick path okay. now looks a bit better as you can see if you want you can use move to path also okay perfect so now it looks good as you can see so if you want you can use a bit of stretch and you can even use the percentage stuff also over here so if you look at it closely over here or you can give more twist also if it is required I can uh, use the stretch more if it is required I can use it percentage I keep it like this that's it so even if you want that uh, want to give a more of a turbo smooth so I can give turbo smooth I can just off this so already I have assigned turbo smooth over here part deform ok now looks much better so how much stretch you are giving that also define that also you can just define that so as you can see and finally you can just off this element or you can just go into this and just give height selection so as you can see I have created this barbed wires It's a very high. 
so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section so please like and subscribe my youtube channel as you can see how we have done this okay i'll slightly just shuffle this stuff i can just go into this material i'll just assign a standard material and i'll increase its specular and glossiness and as you can see looks good material that's how you can create it so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so thanks for watching this tutorial